Welcome to part 5 of building a dynamic community member based website system created by Flash Building and presented by developphp.com. And at the end of part 4, where we left off, we had created our registration form in Dreamweaver and we created the parse script, which was an all in one file. And I have it open here. And so this supplies the form and the parsing mechanism and we tested it out and make sure the form works and adds us to the database at the end of the last tutorial so we checked in PHP my admin and we indeed were sunk into the database so everything works correctly so now in this part 5 we're going to be creating the activation script which is very important for making sure that your members are human so remember in uh, the registration form here we sent them an email, a URL is in that email and it's the activation URL, they have to click on that or put that in their their web browser address bar if it's not clickable which it should be clickable in most default email applications so uh, when they click on that it sends them to this file activation.php which we haven't created yet, we're going to create that right now and it's going to post two URL variables that we're going to need to access their ID and sequence is going to be their database password, the hashed up password that we made. So let's go to file, create new or new um, PHP. Just get rid of all that text there. And now let's pop in the script that's going to activate them and then I'll talk you through line by line. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. So, here's the script. I just popped it in. Now let's save it. File, save as in the root directory of Web Intersect as activation. Activation.php. Okay. All right. Now we have it all set. So, what we want to do here is make sure that in the first line of the script or the first line of code anyways uh, after we claim our PHP opening tags is we're checking to see if the get variable of ID the URL variable of ID is present and it if it has a value uh, but if it has a value so what we're saying here in this line is if the ID variable coming in is not equal nothing so if it equals something, so that means if the ID variable coming in, if they press the registration, if they happen to get rid of these URL variables and just use this, then the script won't run. That's what we're doing there. This can only run if that ID variable is present and if it has a value. If it has a value of nothing, the script, the script won't run either. So it runs only if the ID variable is present, which in most in all scenarios it will be present unless the person sending or clicking or using that <laughs> going to the activation script.php uh, the activation.php script if that person is doing something strange and funny that they shouldn't be doing then the script won't run it only runs if normal procedures are at play okay so first thing we do is if the variable is there and everything is normal then we're going to connect to the database using our include script. Then we take the ID variable uh, that's coming in from the URL variables and we put it into a local PHP variable. Then we hash, uh, we get the hash password, which is the sequence variable, URL variable, and that comes in as well. We put it into a local PHP variable called hash pash. And then uh, the ID, we run my MySQL real escape string on it, and I discussed what that was in the last tutorial. And the uh, we also run a replace to see if they've put in that that character that's above the tab key on US keyboards. We delete that from the string in case it happens to be there. Same for the password. Run the MySQL uh, real escape and the replace function. So. Uh, after we've cleaned it and secured it and kind of filtered the data 
then we can make the uh, MySQL query and update the my, my member set email activated field to 1 where ID equals this user's ID and password equals this particular user's password that's what that line says so we're updating my member set or you can say or set would just be translated to field if you wanted to make this a sentence that would make sense to you you know so update my members field email activated to one where the ID equals this user's ID and the password equals this user's password that's what that means then we do a double check we select all from my members where the ID equals ID and password equals hash pass and email activated equals one now and we should receive a MySQL num rows result of one so if everything goes right this double check value of this variable here double check will be a one so now we just run a conditional we say if double check equals zero your and we make it red we say your account could not be activated please email the site administrator and request manual activation or you can put any messages you want there I don't care um, well not that I don't care but it doesn't it all depends on what you want your system to do according to the failure of account activation but uh, account activation should never fail if it does this the person's doing something wrong with that URL they're not uh, the, the member who's trying to join isn't doing something correctly if the activation fails or the server scripts just uh, aren't running the server can't process at the moment which would be uh, you know just ser bad server functionality so we go to uh, after we uh, tell them that their account could not be activated if double check equals zero we include message to user dot php which we discussed in tutorial number four of this series and we exit this script from executing any further down and if double check is greater than zero which we would want it to be that would make successful activation then we say your account has been activated log in anytime up top and we include message to user.php and this message is what gets sunk into that page and I discussed all of that in the last lesson and uh, then we exit the script after we include message to user.php and um, that's it and down here at the end we close the first if and we print them a message if the get ID variable happens to be empty or not present this script will return this message to the user's browser essential data from the activation URL is missing close your browser go back to your email inbox and please use the full URL supplied in the activation link we sent you and you can say thanks just to be nice and uh, you put your admin email there just to tell them you know essential data from the this script needs is missing that the script needs is missing uh, so if the data is there you run all this stuff and then that's where that closes but if not this will run and this stuff won't run here this line will not run here at all because we're exiting the script after every turn of events inside there you see that's how that works so next uh, part of the tutorial series we're going to be creating the login mechanism. now that the, the person's all activated actually let's test this out here uh, let me go to FileZilla reconnect and let me go to where are we web intersect perfect let's see uh, activation let's put that in the root directory of our website. Now let's navigate to it. Or no, we gotta navigate to that email we got. And let's go, where's that email? Da, 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 da. Uh, web intersect. La 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 da da da. It's somewhere here. There it is. Okay, this is the email that I received when I joined yesterday. When I was testing the join form. I'm going to click on that activation link and if everything goes right we should see success 
and then we're activated in the database to log in. There it is, Web Intersect. Your account has been activated. Log in anytime up top. Now in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to create the login mechanisms and the magic flash header that's going to be uh, communicating with PHP to do all of its magic. And uh, it's going to be a very integral, po integral part of my system. But yours can be an HTML header that's magic as well. And so, um, so you can see here the URL is activation.php, their ID, which mine was one, and the sequence is my hashed up password there. And that is all. So we'll see you in part six where we'll be creating the login script in PHP and possibly starting on our uh, magic flash header deal there. Okay, see you next lesson.